Well, hello there, Coffee Chat friends and anybody else out there in internet land. Uh, Steve here from Coffee Chat. Give me a little update on our last Coffee Chat meeting, which was this last Wednesday, the, what was that, the 3rd of September. I'm going to do a bit of a walking head video here because I'm on the move right now, tra uh, traveling with my family to Ontario. And here, that's the Best Western in Winnipeg right behind me here. Just uh, giving you a little bit of an update on our meeting. It was a bit different this meeting because we had an interviewer from Shaw Cable come in and do uh, do some footage. They had a little interest in what we're doing at Coffee Chat so that will air soon and I'll post that link as well. We did the same sort of thing as we usually do. We went around the room. There was about 23 or 24 of us there and our topic for the evening was laughter we went around the room and everybody made comments on the value of laughter for them and I'll just relay a few of the notes that were said there as to what laughter the value of laughter one guy said it's an antidote to any other troubles perhaps somebody said that laughter is brain power Somebody said that an old Reader's Digest article talked about how laughter is the best medicine. Somebody said that laughter is a powerful message. There were a number of people mentioned how the involvement with kids can result in laughter, among other things, I'm sure. Somebody said that laughter is like energy, medicine, and healing. And Somebody else said, when you have teenagers, laughter is certainly a good thing to get to know. Don't take things too seriously. Somebody said that laughter is good for mental health. Let's see. Grandkids, there was mention of yoga laughter, which there was a little bit of a discussion on that, about how it's not really yoga in the traditional sense, it's everybody just being absolutely ridiculous as a prompt to get you to laugh and once we laugh we train certain things like our muscles in our face our abdomen the whole works to be able to laugh more something along that line there was mention of Carol Burnett being around kids somebody mentioned that laughter it can be used as a coping mechanism and he also, this guy also mentioned that he loves limericks. A lot of limericks can bring laughter. Somebody mentioned that recalling a story about her husband can be quite hilarious and cause her to laugh. Dogs can be helpful in laughter. Grandkids can be helpful in laughter. Um, Liam, do you want to give a comment about laughter? Liam was there too, my son Liam. He gave comments on laughter as well. Um, laughter can help us feel feel more resilient and this is especially the case when we have yes when we have somebody a loved one who's passed away if we can use a little humor it can help in the mourning process it helps to boost our social skills somebody mentioned that a saying when the when you laugh the world laughs with you when you weep you weep alone. What else was there? Let's see. D somebody mentioned Dennis Hall. Maybe he was, I'm not sure what Dennis Hall was, but you might Google him. It might be maybe a comedian of some sort. Belly laugh helps the heart, somebody said. Somebody men mentioned Just for Laughs, the comedy fest in Montreal. Cancer treatment can be boosted by laughter or the, the can, laughter can benefit the ill effects you might say of, of cancer somebody said upcoming events there's the doctor dr richard brouse seminar in moose jaw coming up in october and there is a book study called the power of meditation 
it, the book is The Power of Meditation by Osho, and that's Lang who's doing that. And also, people mentioned watching certain movies can help us to laugh. And there was, there was a number of times people mentioned also that we can actually make a decision to help ourselves to laugh, like deciding to get involved with humorous activities and so on. Now we gotta get going here, there's our, there's our motorcade, if you can see it, it's the old Suburban there and our homemade trailer on the back. <laughs> so we're, we're moving along here on our way to Ontario today. I'll, I'll finish off with a, a few comments that I made as well, which was that um, the, the benefit that laughter has been for me, what's laughter done for me. Um, basically, it's helped me to not take life so seriously, essentially. I remember, well, some of you know that I publish a newsletter, did publish a newsletter uh, on the internet, and I would get comments back, some in favor, some, you know, Steve, you're full of it, kind of emails. And I would like the first ones, and the, and the latter sometimes I wouldn't like. And I remember this one time I got a, an email that said, this has nothing to do with having a flatter stomach. And there was an emoticon behind it, dash, underscore, dash, kind of looked like an angry guy. And as usual, you know, I wish that they would like what I had to say. But at that moment, something changed. And partly the reason why it changed is, a little while previous to this, I was walking by the TV and there was a documentary on about the Inuit of Northern Canada, most specifically Baffin Island, the people of Baffin Island, which is a desolate, cold place, dark for three months of the year. Yeah, okay, uh, my wife is, you know, <laughs> yeah, she, we're getting ready to go here. Just a little bit of a pause there. Um, where was I? Anyways, these people, it appears as though they have nothing, but what they do have is laughter. Apparently, according to the documentary, they laugh more than anybody in the world. Sometimes they'll sit in front of each other and just laugh continuously. And perhaps that's a coping mechanism because most of us wouldn't be able to handle the conditions that they used to live under in snow huts essentially and to the Inuit it is determined as it seems to be anyway that everything in life is worth laughing about is, is, is a point of laughter so everything in life is humorous and I went wow you know there's an aspect of this there's always an aspect of everything that is humorous so once I read this thing with this little message with the emoticon in it I got well wow. I went well wow, there's got to be something humorous in this and all of a sudden I started laughing and the laughter was I wasn't laughing at them I was laughing at an aspect of the whole situation which was Steve taking things personal and that was really amazing I realized that they weren't necessarily talking to me or it wasn't necessarily directed at me it was it was it was the message more it was like all of a sudden I got that me taking that comment personal would be like me taking the rain landing on my head personal which would be ridiculous the rain lands on everybody everybody gets comments they might not want but so I started laughing and I and I was laughing at the greatest show on earth which was Steve taking life too seriously. And that was really helpful. And it helped me in the gratitude area because I was able in that moment to be grateful, genuinely grateful for the comment because somebody had taken the time to write something to me, which at first I wasn't, I didn't care for, but in reality, there was something hugely beneficial for it because I got a great chuckle out of myself for being so absolutely silly. That is one of the benefits of laughter that I find, is being able to laugh at myself and disarm the tendency to take things personally. Just sharing. And thank you all for sharing all those comments about laughter. Let's 
keep on laughing as much as we can and I'll talk to you in a few weeks. All the best. Bye-bye for now.